In today's HealthCast, University of Miami's Miller School of Medicine has received a patent for a device that can actually diagnose concussions immediately after somebody's been hurt. By tracking eye movements through 11 different specific tests, these concussion goggles, which were developed by an outside company, can also help predict when someone can return to normal activity. What happened was, uh, working with my colleague Carrie Balaban at the University of Pittsburgh, we developed the algorithms that can be used to look at the eye motion in the virtual reality goggles and make an interpretation about the various tests that are done and whether they show us that someone has concussion or does not have concussion. And while there are some similar devices on the market right now, these new goggles have a greater degree of accuracy, and Dr. Hoffer envisions them being used in public places and sporting events similar to automatic defibrillators. An estimated 3.8 million people in the U.S. do suffer from a head injury every single year. And according to another new study out there, advances in chemotherapy are making surgery less common. Researchers tracked individuals diagnosed with breast cancer who were cancer-free after systemic therapy and did not undergo breast removal surgery. Among these subjects, researchers found they actually remained cancer-free two years after their therapy, which often involves chemo. The authors noted further study is needed, of course, before these findings can affect clinical practices.